Welcome to Tokyo. Join us on a jam-packed whirlwind tour of Tokyo in just one day. From a Japanese shrine to the Tokyo skyline at Shibuya Sky, epic Japanese street food and so much more. We've got just 24 hours to see as much of this unique city in Japan as we possibly can. And we're starting it off with the trippiest art exhibition you're ever going to see. Wow! Hi guys, and we are starting our day off here at Team Labs Planets. We have wanted to do this for absolutely years. Forever. It looks amazing. I can't wait to get inside and see all the different areas. I'm just so excited. Super excited. excited. Can't I'm... wait for this. Oh my gosh. All right, let's, let's get go inside. In. So anyone who doesn't know about Team Labs, it's basically an art exhibition with your whole body. All the senses. All the senses. So it takes you to different aspects. So you go to water, there's lights. I mean, right now we're in some sort of flower projection dome. It's absolutely stunning. This is a place I've been wanting to come to for so, so long. And they, we didn't think we were going to make it and they extended it. So we've actually got to come. I can't quite believe we're here. I feel like anyone's wants to pinch me. I know. What is this? This is what I envisioned coming here. That's insane. It's crazy. This room is like nothing you've ever seen. Oh! It looks like we're in a snowstorm. In this room, you are shin deep in water, and on it is projected little coir carps. And then, when the coir carps hit you, they turn into little rose petals. This isn't how it's changed all round. So, obviously, as predicted, we didn't come out of that room unscathed. Only nearly fell in, and I'm just soaking. Oh my gosh, that was close! Until I watched the Mr. Beast, yeah. I've been dreaming of that room. This is this one that I wanted to touch for so long because they look squishy. And they're not, they're hard, they're hard. They're hard. They're so and that one's see through. So we're now in the hanging flower garden. The flowers literally come down. It's crazy in there and it smells amazing. As you can see, they all kind of move, come down and back up. They all have their own a little life of their own. I'm getting absorbed by flowers. So pretty. You got ah. My knees are broken. I have no knees left. Not gonna lie, I had high expectations for that place. Fulfilled them. Honestly, I've watched. I must have watched at least fifty vlogs on that place. Maybe more. Maybe more. Maybe more. And it well lived up to the hype. Oh, it's so good. The little black pillow bouncing room was under maintenance, so we didn't get to do that. But that's, I think, the only thing that we missed. Yes, the main Everything room was the was light just... room. The first room you go into, that was absolutely incredible. Stunning. That is the perfect start to our Tokyo day. Now oh we're heading gosh. into the center of the city. See what else we can explore. Oh my gosh, we're in Tokyo. All right, so let's catch everyone up. We arrived late last night into Tokyo. Very late. Very late last night. It was like half 11 at Haneda Airport. And then there was a 14 row deep immigration queue. We were like, oh. And then straight after that, we then get in a taxi and head straight over to our hotel. Now bear in mind, this hotel is what, 15 minutes away? 40. Pounds in a taxi. They've got you here in Tokyo. Well, we don't know. It might just be the airport taxis are more expensive. Yeah. And the hotel, gorgeous. The Grand Nico Daiba. Really nice, like place to stay for the night. Loads of good amenities, and the breakfast was really good too. It's a bullet train. Is that it? This isn't a bullet train. No. What? Well, we're going to be getting on a bullet train. This is just a normal, no, not today. Okay. Once we get onto the uh, train, and we've seen our first ever vending machine, so we're like, we're going to give this a go. It might be a scam. It might, what do you think? You think it's a scam? Only thinks that if you if you basically select any of these, that you get a picture rather than the actual drink itself. This is paper. He's adamant that we're getting scammed. He's like, don't do it, you're going to get scammed. So did you know that literally if you were to pile up 
side by side every single vending machine in Tokyo or in Japan sorry it would stretch from Tokyo all the way to Hawaii it's a long way and then when you're using the vending machines if they're blue it means that they're cold and if they're red there isn't any red here at the minute but if they're red it means that you can actually get something hot from the vending machine when we arrived in late last night we did actually pick up a suka card suka? yeah welcome suka, suka which is for international people these you can pick them up from the airport i uh, did put a quick video on where you can find these so i'll insert that now for you so that is the exit right there and as you come out of the terminal you can head over to here where well, this is where you can get the suka card from please enter your date of birth and touch confirm please select the desired charge amount please insert money or credit card please take card and there's your welcome suka you can use these not only on like the trains and stuff like that but also I think you can use them in convenience stores as well yeah. to pay. Right. And they're dead easy to top up from the looks of it. Nine out of ten. That was some emotion you went through there, kiddo. I think it took him by surprise for a second. And he then wasn't he was too like... sure what to expect. Like, mm. Good? It makes it look like the Sprite Fizz. Yeah. Sprite Fizz, yeah. It's like a fresher version of Sprite. It seems pretty straightforward to navigate the kind of underground train system here in Tokyo. Basically, they just all have a letter for the different lines and the numbers either go up or down. And if you look on Google Maps, it basically tells you what number you're at and what number you need to go to. Ollie's just pointed out at this train station now that they have the hot drinks. You see it says hot on these. So corn soup. Nice caramel latte though, that's fine. that looks good. And just to let everyone know, it doesn't seem like you can top the child's Suica card up at the machines. So we've just been to the counter and we just used Google Translate to get what we wanted to say across because he couldn't quite... We were getting lost in translation, he's trying to help us find where to go rather than top the card. But we've managed to top each one up with a thousand yen now, so... We've arrived in central Tokyo. So we're just coming down this quaint little street. Oh, look at that man, just dim sum there. There's just oh, so many little, so good. I just little like shops. Eat everything, please. All right, well, we can't not come to Tokyo and first of all, head into a 7-Eleven. It's got to be done, right? So many options. Now we're in, now we're talking. We are talking. Toss the coffee. We've got all the coffee, all the different coffees. All different teas. <laughs> this is the real reason why we're here, Absolutely. over this side. Right, okay, first of all, we've got to start with these. That's beef and sweet soy sauce, so I'm going to give that a go. I've also heard good things about the egg sandwich, so... Egg salad sandwich it is. Oh, oh there it is. Strawberry. Oh, you found it. And you want to try some uh, dried squid? Smoked squid? No? What about some cheese and cod? Dried squid, dried squid, with a dried squid, dried squid. So this is what we've got. We've got peanut sandwich for Ollie. We've got the strawberries and cream and an egg mayo one for us. And the famous onigiri. You excited to try them all? Everything, absolutely everything. I cannot wait. So our first trip to 7-Eleven, I would say it was a success, would you? Well, we've got a bag full of goodies and a drink in hand. I got myself a cafe latte from 7-Eleven. And I forgot I was going to get the caramel tea latte. I got another mango smoothie in. I stuck it in because I wanted to go and do it at right. the machine. I was just fascinated by the machines in 7 Eleven. I feel like we're right with us. <laughs> go on, give it a go. That is such a fresh mango smoothie. Yeah? Mm. From a convenience store, like a spa. So good. I'll check out my co op coffee. It's good. It's actually really it's good. It's actually better than it is at Starbucks. So next up on the Kershaw's Tokyo Adventure takes us here. To the Meiji Jingu Shrine. It's a relatively recent shrine. It was only built in the 1920s to commemorate Japan's first modern emperor and empress. Emperor Meiji and Empress Shokun. I believe that literally the city is just behind us. It's so stunning. So before you enter into the shrine, you need to go through a purification process. So basically you need to go wash your hands and also wash and rinse your mouth out and then wash your hands again before going in. Wow. Here we are. These are all people's like 
quote like wishes for happiness and health for my family and I. We just put ourselves a votive to be able to go and write some wishes for friends and families to leave on the shrine. And then we've also got change to be able to come and do the Omikuji, which is the fortune, it's like an oracle. Give it a good shake. Right, number two. two. Alright, so we've got find number two on here. Two. Okay, let's have a read. Turn it over. A single thread, when not taken properly from the very end, becomes all tangled and so hard to unravel. Like upright bamboo, our people should strive to grow straight and honest, even when not gifted with surpassing talents. <laughs> nice fun. Thanks, Japan. Right, so we have just purchased ourselves one of these. So for everyone who's watching, we are wishing you health and happiness. You can have an absolute field there with these. Sake. That's a lot of sake. That is a lot of sake. That is a lot of sake. So it says that they're offered every year to the enshrined deities by members of the Meiji Jingu Senkoku Shuzo Keishinki, including the Kotakai. So they all just have an absolute blast one day, yeah. Clearly. Get smashed on sake. And, and that's, then that's one. wine. So we've got a bag full of goodies. We've got a peanut sandwich for Ollie, a peanut butter sandwich for Ollie. We've got two different onigiris, which I'm really excited to try. These are what everybody tries. We've got the famous egg salad sandwich. It's like Squishy. the freshest bread I've ever felt. And the famous strawberry and che cream cheese. We're ever gonna love it or hate it. I don't think there's gonna be in between. And then we got a little surprise for Ollie. We got him a little Pluto cookie. That's cool, isn't it? Hey? Oh, you didn't see that one, did you? Oh, look, it's got a little peanut on it. Yeah. That's cool. It has actual peanuts in it. You like peanuts, so that's good. That's good. But it's also got peanut butter in it. So, so peanut, peanut butter and, and peanuts. peanuts. So I think it's a crunchy peanut butter, that means. Mm. Oh, hold on. It definitely destroyed that. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. No? Not as tuna mayo. Beef's the one, so much more flavour. Oh, that's really good. Beef, from now on. You ready? The bread's super light and squishy and fluffy. That egg salad sandwich is the perfect picnic sandwich. The, the bread's just so light and it's fluffy. It's really serious. Yeah, I'm really intrigued light. for this though, the strawberry and cream cheese. Philadelphia and strawberries. I think I like it. I think I like it. The strawberries and cream on bread. It's like, it's like. I thought it was cream cheese. Fun. It kind of works. Yeah. And these are the little things that all he got in his, in his little blue top pack. Guys, right, so we've made our way over now to Shibuya, which is where the crossing is. One of the, well, basically the busiest crosswalk in the entire world. We are heading up though to Shibuya Sky. Well, I say that. Hopefully, we are currently. 40 minutes late. 30, 30 minutes late. 30 minutes late. So we'll see if they let us in. We thought our tickets were for half two and they were for half one. Whoops. This is even more of a view than any of the towers in New York, isn't it? Like, it just goes forever. Even like kind of New York on steroids, like. Molly, there's a helicopter there. We're nearly above it. There we were not too long ago. In that green bit there, right in the middle, that was the Menji Shrine that we just were in. One cool thing about this now is you can get on an escalator up to the next, to, to the sky stage, the rooftop. They said it's going to show if it rains and it's just started raining. No, we're not the top yet. This is like our look, this trip with sightseeing from high points. It's the, it's the tower, it's the Tokyo Tower. Oh, it's there, Tokyo Tower. Tower. I'm facing a big trip for the end of the year. We're going that way. So we're just looking and that is where usually you can see Mount Fuji, but unfortunately with the bad weather coming in, it seems like it's going to be um, hindered for us to be able to see it today, Ange. So what do you reckon? <sighs> Next time, well, we're going to have to come back. There's so much that we're going to miss from Japan. We know that we don't have enough time here. We might see it on the bullet train. We might see it on the bullet train. But that was like one of the things that I was like, I really want to see Mount Fuji, but it does hide a lot. What is it about us and this weather? Like, Disneyland Park days have been perfect. Don't jinx that. 
Uh, well, it's due to raid all day tomorrow, so that's not going to be. Should we get on this netting? You're chilling there, eh? Chilling out in Tokyo? You're not enjoying it. There we are. You're chilling. Chilling. Yeah. yeah. Chilling at 230 or 1,000. Two hundred and thirty-six meters or something like that. It's not as big as I've ever said. The planes only fly at thirty thousand. <laughs> We're basically in space right now. <laughs> We're forty-seven stories high right now. Yes, right above the uh, busiest sidewalk, crosswalk in all of the world. I'm having a mare here, aren't I? Oh well, never mind. Somewhere on this top deck, I believe there is a glass floor. To, uh, to look down on so you can see the street. Chances are, the way that I've messed up this right now probably isn't even a thing, but we're going to check out and see what we can find out. Oh, we'll walk on it and go... <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet they've closed it, to be fair, because it's glass. I think it's over there. Never trust ChatGPT. It's worse than Wikipedia. There's no glass floor here. Chances are, the way that I've messed up this right now probably isn't even a thing. Right, so we're now queuing for the picture we basically there's only one area up here that has the low glass so the rest of it's quite high so we're going to try and get this they take one picture and then you have 30 seconds to get everything you need so time crunch and so you go my right side <laughs> straight away don't forget the red side well, not only do they have the outside platform here but they've also got a gallery on the inside which is a lot more quiet and to be honest we nearly missed it on the way in but it's got like loads of little cool like art things on the wall right so that is shibuya sky over and done with that was really good i could have probably spent all day up there yeah just chilling on those looking out it is it's really cool it's giving you a full 360 degree view of tokyo it's massive tokyo yeah it made me feel small like shibuya scramble look like little ants on a teeny tiny crossing and crazy the, the price here compared to what you get if you're doing this in new york as well is absolutely crazy if you want more details the price is there at the side and again if you want to have a look about book it yourself Link is in the description. Right, shall we uh, head on to the next one? So much more to do. Let's go explore more Let's of Tokyo. Go. And we are now entering the busiest crosswalk in the world. Oh, it's a scramble alley. Oh, wow, there's Hachiko. So if anyone doesn't know Hachiko, there's a cool little story that goes around him, but he is famous here in Japan. So Hachiko was a dog that went to work every day with his owner, and his owner would go and get on the train, and Hachiko would kind of wait around until his owner came back. And then one day his owner died, and Hachiko came back to this train station every day for nine years until he passed away. So they erected a statue to him for like perseverance and friendship and loyalty. Oh, it's such a sweet story and really sad in a way. Like nine years the dog came back looking for him doesn't normally have flowers around his neck so was it his birthday maybe wiggle time i know i wonder why he's got flowers i wonder if it was like his birthday or something right guys time to cross over the busiest crosswalk in the world it's a bit crazy down here isn't it oh, it should be it's the busiest one in the world all right buddy we go so the scramble gets its name from the fact that every two minutes three thousand people cross it how crazy is that? This is nuts. Where's the lollipop ladies? It's just a big zebra crossing. It's mental. It's like Times Square and Piccadilly Gardens on steroids. That was intense. <laughs> that was a lot of people. And people call me extra. That guy's got rollerblades. You want some rollerblades now, right? A big selfie stick. That's exactly what I want. So we're now heading to the two most anticipated stores that we've got for this trip. And it isn't Capcom, but we probably will have a nip in there shortly. The Nintendo stores here. And also Pokemon. <laughs> Mario's there. Look at these. Look at this. How? Oh, the that bean is so pole. Good. Oh, whoa, look at that cookie jar. Look at this. Is that salt? Oh, oh it's a, shut, shut up, guys, it's a pen. Oh, it's a pen. Look at these. Wait, wait a minute. That's a pen. That's the Mario one. Pens, phone nah. cases. What are them down the bottom, Ange? Are they old? No. Are they the old games? For the, they are as well. Do you know what it actually is, though? The memo sheets. Oh, nice. So they look like the game. Look at this one. So it's like a cartridge, but it's actually paper, like memo sheets. 
That's mint. What's that? Is that a jumper? That's a zippy hoodie. Pretty cool. It's a coin verse! No, like a coin, coin verse! I've literally got every character to push from the game ever. King Boo! That was one of his abilities, isn't it? When he has to get like really heavy. <laughs> Look at these classics here. Oh my god, the are weak! And that is a Switch remote. No, it's not. The Switch remotes. We need that one. That's the, that's no the one. That was my first ever, ever. Computer console. Look, the Switch remote, you can get it for 3278 about 15 quid. Is that it? Not only do they have Nintendo, but they've also got a Pokemon store as well. The Mewtwo on the front looks amazing. Now, I don't know about you, but I was alright with my Pokemon back in the day, you know, when there was like a hundred. But now, there just seems to be so many different Pokemon, I have no idea who is who. Uh, who are you? Who are you? I know these, these are the originals, apart from some of them. I think it's safe to say the Pokemon is extremely popular here in Japan, judging by that queue. Okay, so I think I've come to the conclusion that it's a relation to Psyduck. This duck. He's very popular though, he's got, like, he's, he's, more, he's got more merch out than Pokemon than Pikachu. Well, that was as chaotic as I expected it to be, to be fair. That was mental. How cool is the street? So cool, I love it. I really want to like go in somewhere and eat though. Unfortunately, we have a street already prepared for our eating this evening, which is what we're heading now. I feel like we needed like a week in Tokyo. Yeah, a day, definitely. A day. day is not long, long enough day. here. One hundred percent. Right, so we have now arrived at my favourite name street in all of Japan. We're at Takashita Street. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. <laughs> right, let's go get some food. So this is like a hustle and bustle street, would you say? Yeah. It reminds me of like Manchester Christmas Markets vibes. Right, so first up is long, longer and longest, which is spiral potatoes. Sold out of a lot. I hope strawberry fetish up sold out. It's bigger than your head, Danny. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's almost as tall as you. <laughs> That's so good. Is it as good as the one in Denmark? Better. That's so good. So bad. So good. So good. Okay, next up is for all you Instagram lovers. It's La China and it is the rainbow grilled cheese. I've seen this in so many vlogs and on so many people's Instagrams and I can't believe we're actually getting it right now. If you've not seen it, this is what it looks like inside. Actual rainbow. <laughs> it's like the rainbow with all the dark pink and the white orange. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, the point. He's picky. Whoa. <laughs> right, but does it taste as good as it looks? <laughs> Genuinely might be one of the best grilled cheeses I've ever had. It's got a very, very slight hint of garlic to it. Oh, that's so good. A lot of these things that like, we've seen online, a lot of them haven't lived up to the hype. Not in China. So far in Japan, everything's lived up to the hype. Well, like that, mm. it's not only good for the gram. <laughs> It's good for the soul. It's good for the belly. <laughs> Shall we have some sweets now? I'm going to say we're heading over here. We have wanted to try these strawberries for so long. So from what I can gather, they're like... Hard. Hard candy on a strawberry. I just need to not break my teeth. They're so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's just basically melted sugar. It's like, do you know the dummies you get from like Blackpool? Yeah. Like the hard sugar. It's the hard sugar on the top of a cranberry like That hard sugary layer on a really fresh cold strawberry that is super sweet as well. And juicy. That, that's the win so far. Everything's been good. This is exceptional. It's basically like really sweet ice. Yeah. But like, it has a little, it's, it tastes like yogurt inside of the... Strawberry yogurt? Strawberry yogurt, yeah. Yeah, good. So good. 
So good. So, so good. We liked them so much, we've gone and got one each. Look at these guys, yeah. It's the baby pig dads. Oh, they're a bite. Oh, oh, oh. Pig fight. Savages. Pig fight. There's so many different things that's happening on this street. You've got pigs fighting, there's a dog cafe, Hello Kitty's for sale, there's some amazing food. Right, with the little money we have left, Ollie? Which is 400 yen. We're going to go and do some gachapa. So there are tons of choices. Yep, yeah, there's Minecraft ones. Minecraft ones. So many different like little trinkets and stuff. Look. Cats riding a rubber duck, sloshed through the gardening. Funny looking owls, toads that eat your finger. Food. No point in my entire life have I gone, I would like a keychain of spaghetti bolognese. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hey, all these pigs has gone for Pokemon. What? Oh, I, I just got the one I wanted. Oh, yes, what you got you the get? little mice. The there mice. they go. Huh? My turn now. Oh, are you hoping for the Iron Man? Iron Man or the Avengers logo? Oh, let's have a look. I think you've got Iron Man. You've got Iron Man. He's got Iron Man. He's got Iron Man. He's got Iron Man. Yeah, it's Iron Man. It's Iron Man. I feel like I'm a big kid again. I didn't get what Gachapon was about until right this moment. <laughs> and now I understand. Look at that. I don't wear a wedding ring, but I'm going to wear this. Yeah! <laughs> I want this one. Or this one, or this one. Or any of them but that one. So what's the betting? You're going to have that I'm one. I'm going to end up with that one now, right? I just didn't want to miss out on the ring. Oh, I've got Mike! It's Mike! Whoa. Hi, Reese. Welcome. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and that ends an absolutely fabulous few hours here in Tokyo. Wasn't long enough. No, it wasn't. We'll be back at some point in the future, I'm sure. Definitely. And now we're off to Disneyland. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Yeah, you'll have to catch us next week. We're checking into the Toy Story Hotel and we're going to spend our first day at Tokyo Disneyland. But until next time. We'll see you next adventure. Catch us later. Bye.